Hi, Mike here. This tutorial was inspired by a question during one of my recent Dashboards in Excel courses. The attendee wanted to build a map-based tracker to show which countries were on track or ahead or behind. I haven't yet managed to have a conversation with that person to understand their requirements in more detail, so this video is just an example. It might be just what they want, or it might be a million miles away, but hopefully it will provide them and anyone else who watches this video with the foundation to create their own map-based tracker. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here I have a list of countries. Column B contains each country's target for 2024. And this could be revenue or units sold or, or anything else. It doesn't really matter. Column C contains the target year to date. Rather than typing numbers directly into column C, I've used a formula. I've taken the target, divided that by 12, because there's 12 months, and multiplied by the month number, which I've put into B13. So because we're in July and these figures relate to the state of play as at the end of June, that is why we've got month six in B13. Column D contains the actual figures at the end of June and they've been typed in. As I said, that could be revenue, units sold or whatever. And column E contains a one or a zero, depending on whether the year to date actual is greater than the year to date target. This is the formula I've used. It puts a one in if the actual is the same as or greater than the target. Otherwise, it puts a zero. And that is needed to generate the colors on the map. To generate the map, I select A3 to A9, hold the control key down. And whilst I've got my finger on the control key, select the numbers in column E. The control key allows you to select multiple non-consecutive cells or ranges. Once I've done that, I'll click on insert and click on maps and select filled map. I'll just move the map over here and I think I'll make it a little bit bigger as well. There we go. And to change the colors of the map, I right click on one of the countries and select Format Data Series. This brings up the Data Series panel over on the right hand side. I need to expand the Series Color section. I'll set the minimum to the lowest value. I'll leave that as lowest value, but I'm going to set that one to red. And the maximum, I'll leave that as the highest value, and I'll set that to a green. I'm going to just close the format data series panel because I want to delete the legend. I don't need that layer. So just select it, press the delete key. And if I want a title, I can just over type the words chart title with my title. So if I now go to D5, for example, which is the actual year to date for Australia and type in 25,000, that now means that the actual is more than the target and that automatically changes the color of Australia to green. Now, what if I want to have three colors, red if it's below target, green if it's above target, and orange if it's on target? To do that, I need to change the formula. So now it puts one if the target is more than the actual, zero if it's less, and 0 0.5 if the target and the actual are the same. I want to change the colors as well. I still want to keep it so that if the actual is less than the target, it's red. And if it's more than the target, it's green. But I want to change the if it's the same as the target to orange. I was going to choose yellow, but I think yellow is a little bit too light. So if I just right click onto any of these countries, select format data series, change the series color to three color leave the lowest value as red, the highest value as green, and the midpoint, I'll leave that as middle value, and I'll set that as this orange here. Close that down. 
And now to test that out, if I go up to, uh, say, D6, which is the actual for South Africa, change that to 17,500 so it matches the target, we can now see that it changes the colour of South Africa to orange. I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.